Hey everybody, Screen Printer Mike here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take a black and white portrait like this, and we're going to set it up with DTF half toning to work on a black shirt. But more importantly, the half toning is going to remove the black out of the design and let the shirt make up the difference. This will make for a softer DTF print, and this will make a nice looking t-shirt. Now back over here, originally what we had was this file right here. You can see his head is cut off there. And so what I ended up doing was I brought this into Photoshop and I extended the canvas out and used generative fill to come up with the top of his head here so that I had a little more to work with. Now, even though we're going to remove the black in this job, I still don't want the squareness we have in this photo. So I'm going to create a little ring, if you will, around this portrait. And I want to position it so that we can feather the edges. And this will sit on the shirt a little better or at least what I like to do was something like this. Now, once I have my selection here, we're just going to go up and modify that selection with a feather. And let's go ahead and do 25 pixels and hit OK. And now with this layer here, we can simply just add a layer mask. And if we hide this black below, you see what's going on here is around the edges where the part of the photo is starting to end, then that will just sort of fade out. And now with this black underneath, we'll be able to just go ahead and flatten this image. Okay, next, we just want to select all and copy and then hit new document. And we're going to switch this to inches. Make sure it's at 300 and we're going to go with grayscale and hit OK or create there and now paste. Now this is where we get out the levels control, which is command or control L. And this shows us where the color is at. You can see this is the shadow, the midtones and the highlights. So the shadow ends here. You see there's this big bulk here that's mostly black. So I have a tendency to want to pull the black to capture or compress, if you will, most of the black to be solid black. Now we're going to do the opposite with the highlights. We're really going to blow this photo out. And what you have to be thinking of is remember the original photo. Wherever you see white here, that grayscale image is going to print through 100%. And where you start to see the black areas, that'll be knocked out and won't print on the transfer. And where you see the areas that are transitioning, that's where we're going to get the halftone effect that will further take away ink out of the job, but still have the look. So once you pull the highlights up here, you really have the midtones to kind of pull and see how much contrast you actually want to get. I kind of like it right in here. Now, this isn't something that's going to be permanent. So let's say this is what we decide to do. We print out a transfer. We do a test print. We're like, hey, you know, maybe I lost too much detail. You just come back and redo this. So once we hit OK there, we're going to go straight up to the mode and hit bitmap mode. That'll flatten the layers and we're going to keep the 300 pixels per inch halftone screen. Hit OK. And this you really have to decide. I would use somewhere 35 to 40. I like the angle of 26 and personal preference, line tone, also ellipse, round, all those work. You can experiment with the others, but I really like the line tone feel on the final transfer. So I'm just going to hit OK. And now if we take a close up look here, you're going to see this 
dark part here is what's going to knock out the original image. So let's do that by selecting all and then doing a copy. And now we'll flip back over to the original photo here that we've modified. And we need to add a layer mask. And then we're going to option or alt click on that layer mask and then paste that bitmap image in here. And now as soon as we select on the picture, you can see this is what the transfer will actually look like before we print it on the black shirt. So if you just want to add a layer there and pull it underneath on the bottom and go ahead and fill that with black, you can see once we bring the black of the shirt in there, we're still going to have a nice transfer, but all of this half toning going on is just going to give a much better hand feel, but still give you the gray tones in there. Now, if there's anything that you don't like in this, let's go and get critical here. Let's say, hey, once I put the black in here, we've just got this floating stuff. Well, that's no problem. All you have to do is go back up to this mask right here, get out the paintbrush tool, make sure it's set to black, and now we can paint on this mask or essentially paint away some of this stuff on the fringe. So I'm just going to go around the perimeter getting things that I know won't add to or will not hold in the DTF process. If it's not necessary to be in there, I'm just going to go ahead and erase it. And this is just going to be your choice, really what you see. And you can keep flipping back. You see there's not much going on there. So this is just a way to clean up the mask a little bit. And when you're done, you want to keep this black layer here hidden. And then you can go ahead and export this out as a PNG. And then back over to our t-shirt. You can see that's what that sort of looks like there. When we put the black underneath it, you've got a nice looking t-shirt that has a soft hand with this halftone method.